Hello. Yes, that's right. Populism, the springboard for British nationalism, without a doubt. Populism is radicalising more and more people for the future British nationalism. People are getting more and more angry, right? And when populism, assuming it does, doesn't deliver, they'll be looking for British nationalism, trust me. You see, there's two things, like I've said before, that's going to happen here. Boris Johnson takes us out the EU. British nationalism, especially English nationalism, will be riding high, but there'll be no further use for the Brexit party, so a vacuum needs filling. We must pick up the baton and continue this fight because there's more problems that need sorting out than getting out of the European Union. Or Boris Johnson's going to keep us in the EU and uh, populism in the form of the Brexit party is going to continue hoovering up the, the anger, resentment, uh, regarding the betrayal, they're going to radicalise more and more people again for the future British nationalism because I believe unless Nigel Farage and them become uh, full-blown British nationalists but you never know, they may, they're moving more and more over to our side by the day they're just doing it in a right and, sense, a right and sensible way where we haven't in the past but anyway, if they don't and they come to a grinding halt then someone has to continue with the fight, someone has to pick the baton up and continue. And that can only be us. And like I've said, I'm planning for the future, not tomorrow or next week, or but even when we're out the EU, assuming we have it all. I'm planning for the future, for when this country really starts coming apart, which it is now we can see it. The new party I'm forming, I could register it tomorrow, but I need the right name. Can anyone email me with some suggestions? I've got to get this right once I have the right name, the right logo, the right message, nothing's stopping this. Yes, I'm not a Nick Griffin. I'm not a John Tyndall. Right, I'm going to do my best though. And also, also, in the past, Searchlight Magazine, Jerry Gable and the big boys in MI5, they've had more or less control of it, right? Of the once mighty National Front and also the successful British National Party under Nick Griffin. And when the time was right, they activated their agents and they brought it down in the form of Martin Webster, 1980 National Front split, uh, Adam Walker, Clive Jefferson, 2014, when they took the BMP from Nick Griffin, Daphne Nick Griffin. But anyway, that's another video in itself. So they've had agents in there, obviously with the support and um, guidance uh, from the big boys in MI5, I'm sure. But they've had their agents in there that once activated knew they could bring it down. Well, that won't be the case this time, right? They will have no influence whatsoever, right, in the new party. Trust me, they won't. And that's what they fear. They do fear it, believe me. But at the moment, let's uh, leave populism in the form of the Brexit party to continue leading the way, making... Uh, more and more in inroads, picking up more and more support, and most importantly, radicalising more and more people for the future British nationalism when they're really angry. Okay, thank you.